uh, this moment in particular uh, when it comes to tax reform. Does it feel different now than it did several years ago when there was a conversation about the prospects for tax reform on Capitol Hill? What's different about this moment? Well, right now there's unified Republican control uh, and you should be able to get this done. Unlike health care, cutting taxes is in the DNA of the Republican Party. Uh, as Dave was saying in the earlier spot, there is a challenge because the decision was made, and I think rightfully so, that the Democrats are not going to provide any votes until Republicans prove they've got a majority. Uh, and so with that, there had to be the acceptance that they're going to go through this process in the Senate, which lowers the voting uh, threshold from 60 to 51, the reconciliation process. Uh, and, you know, again, that's what complicates it. We now see it's all about trying to meet um, the uh, $1.5 trillion tax cut in the first 10 years and then assuring in year 11 that you don't aggravate the budget deficit going forward in the next 10 years and that's really difficult and that will be where the Senate I think comes and steps up and we'll see the uh, the unveiling of that uh, in the next couple of days I'm right, sure. So you'll get that and you'll have the House bill they have to be married together from your perspective what are you gonna be watching who are you gonna be watching as all of that unfolds who has to broker a good <laughs> and quick arrangement of these two bills? It's really up to the White House. I mean, I, I recall when I was there throughout being deputy whip and the Republican whip and the majority leader, we relied very heavily when we had George Bush uh, in the White House for him to come in. He got into the details of the bill. He understood where members were and were, was very effective at compelling votes. Uh, we've not seen that yet from President Trump. He doesn't come from that world. We're going to need to see some of that real attention to detail and compelling members to bring them along, not just uh, issuing a tweet threatening members. I mean, I think that just does not work in Washington. It's proven it hadn't worked. Last question here with about a minute left. How hard is it to do what uh, Chairman Kevin Brady is trying to do? That is, bolt the doors to the hearing room in, in Longworth, keep all the lobbyists and special interests at bay and get this done. Uh, you've lived this. How hard is it to work exclusive of all of that noise, whatever you want to call it, in Washington, D.C.? Listen, they've been working on this for a long time. As, as you rightfully interviewed Dave Camp, and he was chairman, I was leader, Dave issued his uh, white paper on what corporate and individual tax reform should look like. So the members of the Ways and Com Means Committee know this stuff, uh, and they'll get this markup done. I think the House, uh, you know, Paul Ryan will act with dispatch, Kevin McCarthy and others in leadership, Steve Scalise will make sure the votes are there. Then the real test comes in the Senate.